Ostrom steps by the looks of things. And as Lydia was saying, that strong wind which has been gusting all afternoon, showing no signs of abating as yet. And the field walking towards the tape now. Starter goes up. Robbie Supple awaits them. And they walk in slowly. Not quite the alacrity of the fox hunters earlier in the afternoon. They're off. The tape springs back for the Grade 1 Bedfred Manifesto. Novices chase the seven runners on the way to the first of the 16 fences. Fargo down the inner. Carlito Briganti wide, uh, rather stretched to the first and had to reach for it. But he got safely to the other side and he races prominently. Captain Conan uh, tracking them. Uh, Garrity's raw blue cap bobbing away in third, just ahead of Tap Knight. AP with a tight hold of his head on the far side as they cross the second. Uh, Carlito Briganti much better there. The last three, Sunny Legend in the black and white, uh, His Excellency down at the running rail and changing times under heavy restraint, taking a keen grip under Sam Twist and Davis as they cross the third, the first of the ditches where Sunny Legend stood too far off it and dragged his hind legs through it. So one more to take over in the back straight first time. Uh, Fargo and Walsh are just in front in the beige and black silks of Andrea and Graham Wiley, those that uh, Ruby were carrying aboard on his own in the big race on Saturday. Fargo leads them from the back to Carlito Briganti wide of Captain Conan. Tap Knight in fourth. His Excellency makes a place. And then Sunny Legend and changing time, still taking a quite a firm tug at the back of the field. Half a mile completed. They travel down the side of the track to the fifth. Fargo jumping soundly. Captain Conan a little out to his right on that occasion, but a clear second. Tap Knight edging up into third. And then Carlito Briganti, the nose band from His Excellency Sunny Legend and Changing Times. Into the home straight they come, and this line of three fences, two playing either side of a ditch in the middle, and Fargo away to the right, in front from Captain Conan. And then Tap Knight in the J. P. McManus hoops. Carlito Briganti on the left from Sunny Legend, working across to Changing Times, the orange and white, and His Excellency the rail. Over the second of the ditches, and all seven handled it well enough. Slightly longer run now to the fence, which will be completing the jumping in a circuit's time. Number eight on this occasion, bringing them steadily to halfway in this Grade 1 Bedfred Manifesto Novices Chase. First run in 2009, and Fargo a leading for Walsh and Nichols, who look for a double on the day. And again, he jumps well there from Captain Conan. Carlito Briganti on the near side, far side for Tap Knight and Sunny Legend up between them. And then His Excellency and Changing Times at the rear of a field which is well grouped, setting out on another circuit, only half a dozen lengths atop to tail. So Fargo with an uncontested lead, but Captain Conan a close up, a length and a half down. Tap Knight stalking the leading pair. Carlito Briganti charting a slightly wider course from Sunny Legend and then His Excellency and changing times. Back where they started from, moving on now towards the ninth. These four fences coming rapid fire down the back straight. Fargo from Captain Conan. Carlito Briganti deep Sunny Legend hit that one, his second error of the race. Tap Knight continues to travel kindly behind the leading line. Both His Excellency and Changing Times waited with as they move on to fence 10. Fargo joined by Carlito Briganti wide, Captain Conan sandwiched between them, and he was the least slick of the leading pair, backed off it slightly, and quickly back on the bridle and pushing his nose up between horses. Tap Knight next, uh, then Changing Times, Sunny Legend and His Excellency. Another of the ditches, Captain Conan much better there, uh, really attacked it, jumped it well, came upsides Fargo. Carlito Briganti a half length down. Tap Knight remains only two lengths off the lead as they take the final fence on the far side. And a blunder, quite a serious one as well, from Changing Times, who scattered the sprues high. So running to the turn with three quarters of a mile to travel and four more left to jump in the manifesto. Fargo has controlled the pace from the outset, as has Captain Conan right on his tail. Wide Carlito Briganti has bustled along and receives a reminder. Tap Knight McCoy still sitting motionless in the slipstream of the leaders. Then Changing Times, His Excellency, and Sunny legend and that was four out and Fargo just tickled the top but he leads as they begin the swing for home and now McCoy crouches a little lower on tap night as Geraghty breezes up aboard Captain Conan to come and apply the pressure to Fargo. Despite that blunder on the far side, changing times, the orange and white is right in behind them under Sam Twist and Davis. His Excellency close up in fifth Carlito Briganti's drop right away and a big leap there from Captain Conan uh, sent him to the front from Fargo. McCoy early
emerging tap night, trying to uh, get him to mount a challenge here to Captain Conan. Here's two out, and again, Conan was good. He led by two, maybe three lengths, and now begins to forge on down towards the last. So Geraghty sets a light, Captain Conan, and he goes six, maybe seven lengths clear. From tap night, changing times. His Excellency is running on late in the piece. Fargo is beaten. Captain Conan then with a five to six length lead. Here's the 16th and final fence, and he's over safely. Tap Knight chases him off up the run in. Change in times is back in third, then his Excellency, but Captain Conan bowled all the way up the home straight, not for catching. Conan the Destroyer lands the Betfred Manifesto. Captain Conan and Barry Geraghty win for Nicky Henderson. Tap Knight is second, changing times is in third, and his Excellency was in fourth. There were some really beautiful jumps from Captain Conan over the last three fences there, and the six to five favourite has won this Grade One manifesto, sponsored by Bet Fred for Barry Geraghty and Nicky Henderson. Second is Tap Knight, who tried to muster a challenge but just couldn't ever quite get to the winner. Tony McCoy and Lucinda Russell in second, and third was Changing Times, the Twisted Davis team. They survived a bad blunder, really bad blunder, five out to come into the race with every chance and then just sort of fade from the second last onwards. His excellent typically patiently ridden, didn't quite manage to pick up the pieces in the way that he has done in some races and finished fourth, but look at those jumps, they're superb, and you were making the point as we were watching the last three fences that when he has got his head and gone to the, the fences out in front, he's been pretty, pretty spectacular. He got better as the race went on, jumping wise, didn't he, because he's a sticky at a few fences on the first circuit, but as soon as he got to the front those three fences up the straight, or four fences that mattered, he was, he was very good each time. I just think he's a happier horse out in front, dominating, whether it's two miles are two and a half but his class has come to the fore today it was just too good for him you're foreseeing great things i think with positive rides over two miles next season just love to see him around sand down and attacking those railway fences i know he's one of silly aisles around there as well but um they've, they've got plenty of options